my friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Francis, and today I'm really excited to show you Create. Create is a powerful recording and video editing desktop software. The company that makes this is called Videlo up here. You can see the URL. And what's amazing about this application is that it's packed with features and it has, um, you could create GIFs, you could make uh, transparent videos, you could have a built-in library of over 1.5 million royalty-free images and videos. And not only that, you could do all kinds of things like uh, 4K export, you could do Facebook, and you could zoom in. And let's get started. Let me show you the dashboard. So first, what you need to do is you need to go to download either Mac or Windows. And once you have that, you get the icon, the little, the C, the blue C, and let me get out of here and make sure I start from the beginning so you could see. So you have the options of creating new, create a GIF, um, there's update and support. So we're gonna select create new because we wanna create a video. And it takes you to this very nice and simple dashboard, very easy to use. As you can see on your left panel, right here is where you could import your um, media. Let me, oops, let me turn on my camera right there. So you could export into your media and, and here would be the um, where your video would be or your canvas. And you have all these options that you could like, depending what you do, Merry Christmas, it's a boy and you could hover over and you can see um, you also have like lots of transition and you simply just have to hover over the transition to take a sneak peek of what's there. And it's also built in with an audio library. So, and when you select the drop down, you could select happy music, dance music. It's organized by different categories. So for this, for this video, let's do a Christmas um, video. So if I went back to here, I'm going to select Christmas. So I simply drag over here, and you can move this this around. So once I click into it, you can see over here my setting, and you could get to setting over here as well. And Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without red or green. So I'm going to select that, and maybe we could find like another font. Um, you could scroll down and play around with all the fonts you want, bold, italic. Um, there's a the font size, which is 136.2, and you could, you have a slider, makes it easy, you know, and you could center it, and you have right here transparent, and you have color selections. So let's go to music. Um, Christmas would not be Christmas without some Christmas music. Let's see if we could find some Christmas music. Dance, uh, energy, let's search here. Christmas. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong one. Let's do holidays. Christmas, oh, there it is. So you have your selection of different Christmas right here. Fun Christmas story. Let's choose this one. I like this one. This is kind of upbeat. So once, oh, maybe classic Jingle Bell. Okay, Jingle Bell wins. <laughs> Who doesn't love Jingle Bell? Let's drag Jingle Bell down here. So below, you will see that you have your timeline. So let me put it here. So in your timeline, you can see that you don't want to scroll. Your music is is shorter than this. Um, this is your music and this is your tax. So your, I'm sorry, your music is longer than your tax and you don't want that. You want it to be balanced. So you could actually go zoom in or zoom out of your videos and you could drag your music. Zoom out, let me see, zoom in and then make it balance. Let's see, go here and then make sure it is even. There we go. So it's nice slider right here. Zoom out and zoom in. And let's see. 
Over here you have, go over here, English, your languages, right here, none. Let's go to the transition. You could add your transition. You could hover over and you could see all your choices. Um, we could, let's say we chose this one and you could drag it into the video if you want to. And you see how it pops here, your transition. And let's play the music. So that's pretty cool. That is really cool. And you could, you could shorten your transition out, or you could drag it out. So, and then you could scale to fit. So you have all your settings here. You got your volume, you could turn it down lower. You, you could align, you could fit the canvas, your hue, your saturation, and your position. So let's do a recording. So if you wanted to screen record, you would select this and then you would select where you want to record, like whether it's your desktop or if you want to record your, the region, which is here. Hello, I'm back. So as you can see, there we are. And you could have your height and your width, or you could customize and see how it's right over here. So next, let me, let me show you, let me see if I could uh, exit. And I'm going to show you how to create a GIF. So you select here. And I have a video that I already imported. And all you do is simply create GIF. And you can see that it is exporting and you hit save. And there's my GIF. I could name it um, Census. So pretty cool and pretty easy, right? There's so many features to this. So let's go back to create new. And I wanted to show you the amazing um, library of images and videos that you could use. So right here, this little um, download cloud sign, you simply select here. So once you're here, you, you just left your editor and you have footage of like videos that you could import and that you could use. And it's amazing how much you have in this package. You could even switch to your images. Um, you could search the media library. Let's see. So maybe. Then this is nice. And once you like something, you could import that in. Um, go back to the, you can go back to the editor. And here it is. And you could simply drag that in. You could resize, resize. Let's see. Fit to canvas. There you go. And then opacity. So this is endless possibilities of what you can do. Add your music. That's good. Bring that down. Remember your zoom right here. Make your music balance. And here you can see you can select um, where you want to publish the video. So another cool thing is I'm going to import in one of my videos just to show you how things work. Um, this is a this is a my my I, outro video. So I'm going to drag that in, and I could piece together my two videos, and I can put this on the timeline right afterwards. And let's see if we can go. Here. Here. Maybe welcome to my work. And of course, you could edit the color over here. And then you edit this a different color. Pretty cool. And then drag it around. Not the most, um, maybe it's better white. Not the best color for because it's a blue. Let's, you could do white and then white. And as you see right here, you scroll down and you could do fade in, fade out. So, and your timeline's here. You stretch the wording out and you're in full control of this. Let's put this there and do a little task. Let's put an emoji. So you could go over here 
And let's say I want just happy. So you could search, which is great. So how about this fellow? You can put the emoji in here. And if you even wanted a static image, you could select the drop down and we have more options. Let's see. Let's put a heart right there. Welcome to my war. And then you could resize, drag, back and drop, back and forth. Um, over here, you have your project name you could put in here. You could export your template, so in your height. And I think this is wonderful here where you could have your videos that it's right size to 720 HD. You could have videos for um, iPhone all the way up to 4K. And the width you could set right here and you could even have your, your background. Um, you got your setting button right here and you have save. So to me, this is really important. I ran into a situation where I created a nice video, but the size fit perfectly on Facebook. But then when I went to Twitter, it says that it had to be a certain side. I think it was it had to be like 1080 or something. And I had to redo it. I had to open Adobe Premiere. And then, you know, it took me a lot of time. So I think this is wonderful. This is wonderful that you could actually select Facebook and Instagram, and then you could just adjust your video. You could adjust here to make it fit in. Um, and then let's say, once you want to save, save here. There you go. And then you could name setting, go here, go back, and then you could export, name it Project Zip. It, like a template. So edit, and I'm going to show you all the about application, quit. This, this is just wonderful. I'm going to go, let's talk about pricing now. Let's close this. Yes. And go into pricing. So I just, um, Basically, when I was practicing making this video, I basically typed in, you know, how much is the cost because I want to see how fast customer service is. Instantly, I get like a response back. So very, very customer service friendly, which is great, you know, and the pricing here, it's so it's one hundred twenty seven dollars. I think that's a really good price for a one time payment and one time investment where you don't have like a monthly subscription to worry about and you get over like 1 million, you know, like a library to yourself of, you know, emojis, uh, stock images, royalty free videos, transitions. Um, and it has even the part where, you know, you could do your, your taxes there. Like it's a boy, Merry Christmas. So it makes it very, very simple to work with. I think it's absolutely like a must have, um, look at all the features and then you could screen record, which is, you know, most video editors, they either, they just edit and they don't have that. And this one even has the, uh, you can make a GIF. Um, and I think the transparent to me is a, definitely a plus because you could set your own background. So it's 127. And what's also nice about this site is that you also could go to the training section and it's packed with like different videos, you know, how to do this, how to do that. Cause you're not going to, you know, as a beginner, you might not remember everything. So you're sure to succeed with this software. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm looking forward to creating like a lot of different, like maybe short Facebook videos when people have birthdays. I love creating that. So, you know, choosing the music. This makes it easy. And I'm, I love to, you know, make a video with outro and intro. And I like to be able to import like different sections and have different transitions. So this really works for me. I'm really excited. I mean, the stock image alone, because you know, stock image could be very, very expensive. You know, you, you could pay like, even up to like 20 or $50 for a video just for a single one. And this price alone is worth it. And plus you have your design right inside for inspiration. So let me know if you give this a try. Um, I'll leave a link below. If you buy from it, I get a little commission, which will help me keep contents like this. 
And if you do purchase it, share your videos with me. I would love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Have a great day as always and see you in my next video. Thank you.